somebody asked me if I would do a what's in my pack video. So I left my backpack packed for my last trip. I don't always bring the same stuff every time, but uh, I bring most of this stuff. So uh, this is my smallest pack. I have another bigger pack if I need to bring bigger things or more things. So um, I had one of these with the flip top cap on it. The cap uh, falls off pretty quick, but I stick it on with duct tape. And I had one of these. Oops. <laughs> and a Sawyer squeeze in a little Tyvek bag. This is my pee rag. <laughs> uh, doesn't smell, doesn't get gross. You don't uh, need to use toilet paper when you pee if you have a pee rag. So. And then you can use it to wash your feet, wash your dirty things with it. Not your clean things. And then uh, I had a map <laughs> and I did not have this on my trip. This is something I brought for my car camping trip. And then this is the, uh, the poles that go with my lightsmith chair. And then stakes for my tent. I use two big stakes and then a bunch of little tiny stakes. I have a food bag. It had food in it, now it's empty. And my stove, which is in a little bag. It's a little tiny stove. One of these little snow peak stoves and a lighter in this little tiny bag. Keep it in my food bag so it doesn't get lost. And then this is my tent. It fits in this tiny little bag. And then I have a cup. The cup is the bottom half of a container. It's a number two. It will handle um, boiling water without melting or going bad. And then I made a Reflectix Cozy. You can get this material from car window shades. And it's uh, got enough edge so I can sip my coffee out of it <laughs> without, you know, dribbling into the, into the bubble wrap. I guess I didn't see my spoon fall out of my backpack when I was making my video. And then I have my hygiene items. So I don't have much, just a toothbrush and toothpaste. A needle and thread and a little dropper bottle of soap some ibuprofen and claritin some athletic tape and gauze and some big band-aids little thing of dental floss you can refill these little ones with full size just take the dental floss out of a full size one and put it in here Hairbrush. I'm starting to believe that a hairbrush is useless. <laughs> and some aquaphor. This is really nice stuff. And uh, I have a hair tie, but I don't really think I need a hair tie now that my hair is short. And then here's the rest of my cooking. So I showed you my stove. And I have an MSR kettle which is, it has a little uh, pour spout. I don't have the lid with me. <laughs> I left it at home and I have a giant one of these. I like the smaller ones, not the giant ones, but I don't know, I ordered it online and this is what I got. And I have this little piece of Reflectix so that it doesn't rattle around in there when I'm walking. And then I have this cozy. I, I brought this for a lid. I thought I would try and see if this works as a lid. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but the lid it comes with is really nice because it sticks on and then when the water is boiling you can see it, the steam comes out of the hole and then you can just pour it without the lid falling off. Anyway, but pot cozy is nice. You heat your water to boiling, you put your noodle dinner in there and then you, you take it and you put it in the cozy 
and then you put like a hat or some socks or something on top and then you just set it aside for like 15 20 minutes or even like an hour or two and come back later and your dinner is perfectly done so some clothing items i keep in the top just in case i get cold uh, i made these from the ray jardine rayway shell pants kit it, they look like rain pants, but they're not rain pants. They're wind pants. And they really, um, they really, they're great. It's, wind pants are the greatest thing. I thought they were dumb, but you can use them to prevent um, stickers from sticking in your tights. You can, uh, they make you a lot warmer. They're, you can sleep in them. They're soft and comfortable. They are not very breathable, but they're more breathable than rain pants. So they're more comfortable to wear. They dry quick if you get them wet to the pants I have a wind jacket it's a similar thing I didn't make it it's so tiny you can just smush it up and put it in a pocket and it has a hood and it's it adds warmth it's really all you need if you're gonna be hiking and then sleeping and then I have uh, I made this rain poncho it's made out of DCF fabric and it, um, I have pictures I can insert to show you what it looks like when you wear it, but it, it serves as a ground sheet for my tent. It doesn't pack down very small. On my last trip, I slept on a lot of uh, oak leaves and they were kind of spiky and you could feel them poking through the fabric, so I didn't think that was good. So I have a little bit of mylar from a space blanket that I used for a protest. And um, I'm going to try putting that underneath just to kind of protect this. I'm not sure. The jury's still out on whether the poncho ground sheet is the lightest and best option. But I can wear this, you know, as rain gear over my backpack when I'm hiking. And then as a ground sheet while I'm camping, it seems like it's great because it serves two uses. But if you have to also put another ground sheet under it, I'm not sure. This is my air mattress. It's a, I think it's a torso length or three quarters length. But since I'm short, it's like almost full length for me. It's a, one of these thermo rests. It has a little bit of foam in it. I've never had it spring a leak i've used it for years and years it's great then i have um a big bag that i made this was a rayway quilt stow bag kit somebody gave me and um, it's really large too large for the amount of extra clothing i bring but if it's gonna rain i can actually use it as a pack liner because it's practically as big as my whole backpack so, and it's waterproof so i bring it if it rains, then I can just stop and like shove my sleeping bag in there and keep it dry. And then I have this hood that you always see me in that looks dorky, but super, super, super warm. I love my hood. I love the green color. I have these uh, possum down, I think is what they are, gloves. They're super light and they're really warm and they're not too thick and they fit tight so I can still do things. And then I, I have this black buff that I, um, it's wool. I found it on the Pacific Crest Trail in Northern California. And I think it really does not want to go backpacking because I almost never bring it because I can almost never find it. But I have found it and it's in here and maybe I'll be able to bring it on trips. And then I, I made these, I, I bought this sweatshirt. It's fleece kind of lightweight fleece. I bought, bought a sweatshirt and I cut the sleeves off and sewed a little a little channel around the top and put elastic. And then I can use these as sleeves to keep me warm or I can put them on my legs to keep me warm. If I put them on my legs, I can pull them down and drape them over my feet so I can sleep in them like warm sleeping socks. This is like one of my greatest crazy inventions. And that's it for what's in here. If I do a longer trip, I'll have a spare pair of socks, but usually I only 
bring the socks I'm wearing. And then, oh, I have my electronics. I have this uh, phone charger thing, and then I'll have, you know, cables, various amounts of cables. This one will ch charge my phone, but I need a cable, a different cable to charge the charger. So if it's a longer trip, I have to bring more cables. And then there's a spare pair of headphones. But you know, I use the AirPods, so I'm thinking I don't really need to keep hauling around these spare headphones. And then here's one of my crazy inventions. I made this, uh, I looked everywhere for a down baby blanket and nobody sold one. So I just wanted something I could put inside my sleeping bag. It goes a little bit below my knees and it will add warmth to my sleeping bag if I'm cold. And it has a hole in it so I can put it over my head and wear it. And then I can put my wind shirt, my wind jacket over it, and it turns the whole thing into like a down jacket. <laughs> and then it has a little hook on it. And right now I'm camping at Lake Kachuma with a bunch of music friends, and we're gonna sit around all day, and it's really cold today, it's kind of windy. But I can, and I do this at home too, in my home office. I can clip it on to my waist, and then I can, it in my chair and it'll just stay there <laughs> it will keep me warm that's my one of my greatest inventions i use this thing almost every single day i love this thing somebody needs to make this as a product with a better hole like i i didn't quite make the hole big enough so it's really hard to put it over my head and then i just tie it together to keep it closed but if i had some of that fancy velcro that is the same on both sides. There's not a hard side and a soft side, so it doesn't scratch your neck. Then I would use that <laughs> to close it. And then here's my backpacking quilt that uh, is supposedly a Go Light Ultra 20. It's supposedly 20 degrees, but it feels more like a 60 degree. I freeze in it. That's why I made this extra blanket. And I got a new sleeping bag coming. And the rest of my chair, I showed this last video. This is the seat part of the chair. I've rigged it up on the, onto the back of my backpack to hold this pad on. This is a 1 8 inch foam pad. It's super light. It barely weighs anything. But it's great for sitting on. I put it underneath my foam pad to protect it from sharp things. Um, and to give a little extra padding down at the end where my feet hang off the edge of my pad. So then I put a pocket on to hold my phone. Oh, here's another mat. And oops, there's some trash in there. And then I have this little bag that I purloined from some other thing. And inside I have a bidet. And so with a bidet, you don't really need any toilet paper. You can just use leaves and stuff for the first round and then you, um, this would be filled with water. And it has this little nozzle that comes out and it's got two settings. One is a stream and one is spray and you just sort of, you know, squeeze away and it cleans you off. And even if you are a toilet paper person, at the day it's really nice to clean yourself so that you don't get any chafing. It's very refreshing, you feel so much better. And then I added pockets to my to this pack because it didn't come with any. And so I have a mosquito head net that I made out of a tule. It's that bridal veil kind of stuff. I found this piece in a, a store downtown called Random. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I can make a mosquito net out of that. And it's great. It fits over my pointy hat. And I think I have a picture I can stick in here to show you what that looks like. And then I have a plastic uh, shopping bag because you never know what you're going to need a shopping bag for while you're on a trip. You might need to pick up some trash or uh, carry something or, you know, it just it's nice to have a bag. And then in this pocket, I have a tiny flashlight that is rechargeable with my battery pack. And I saved this little hook from a pair of socks. 
and you know like when you buy socks and sometimes the the package is on a little hook on display so I saved that and then I can just hang this in my tent and have a little light and otherwise I can just hold it and walk around I also have a headlamp but it's in the truck and sometimes I bring it sometimes I don't I have this little thing that goes on the end of my trucking pole to if I want to use my trucking pole in my tent and I want to turn it so that the pointy side is up I can use this usually I do it so the pointy side is down I have a little tiny thing of hand sanitizer and oh I have a tiny bobby pin for my hair and then I made this little wallet out of DCF fabric and it has little hooks I have my other backpack I can hook it in so I won't I can hook it into the pocket so I won't lose it or I could hook it into like uh, on my belt and and like tuck it in to my waistband so I don't lose my stuff but you know I keep a little bit of cash in there my health insurance card driver's license so they can identify the body and I got a couple other things in here that I don't know usually I'll put these in my pocket but a little pocket knife and then I took a big pin with a lid and I just cut off took the pin part out and cut it off so it's short enough and then I can keep some of these little these little brush picks that are good for cleaning between your teeth I have some big spaces between some of my teeth and I forgot to say what was in this pocket I cut this off of the shoulder of some other thing I found at a thrift store and made a shoulder pocket out of it but I have another bandana it was protecting a pair of clip-on sunglasses and then I have um, a glasses cleaner and a little tiny pair of magnifying glasses that I can wear to read with. So that is everything that I carry in my backpack more or less. Sometimes there's a few other items of clothing or maybe some little things I want to try out but that's that's it.